I'm always up for a challenge, and in fact, I want that to be the motto of this series. So today, I want to take the challenging path, quite literally. I've been thinking about some of the things that I want to do in this series, and the achievements that I want to get, and of course the challenges that we're going to make along the way. And a lot of these are quite silly, but I think they're very important. For instance, I want to get every single rabbit in the game. I think the entire bunny collection would be really cool, and it would suit New Petal Valley so darn well. But there are a lot of others that I want to do as well, just to name a few. Completing all the in-game achievements, collecting all the music discs, hitting the subscribe button, filling up my village with villagers, and a whole lot more. That is just the tip of the iceberg. And today, I hope to get started on some of these. Now, of course, I'm having a lot of fun today on one of these other challenges that I've created, which is a mini parkour course around New Petal Valley. And it's not going to be a strict parkour course. It's literally the path that we are taking around the place. And I thought it would be kind of fun to just hop around and try and get this right. But I think I'm going to need a lot more practice. Today we are starting things off by leaving New Petal Valley, and that is so that we can complete our original pickaxe collection. And of course, we're going to do that by going all the way over to Spawn, which I haven't actually been to in a very long time. Since we actually, since we left and went to New Petal Valley for the first time, that was the last time I was in Spawn. So it's good to pay it a bit of a visit. It's a historical spot. And not only that, it's also going to be where we're going to get our replica pickaxe from. Because if you do recall, I mistakenly broke our first stone pickaxe. And that is a pity because that is a piece of history that we don't have in this world. But we do know the exact rocks that were around the rocks that we mined for that stone pick. And I think it'll only be fitting if we got the exact rocks that were next to the rocks that made the pick. So I think that's going to be a good compromise. Now, of course, spawn is, I thought it was more that way. So we're going to go that way. I'll recognize it when we get there for sure. There's something else at spawn that I missed last time we were there. And it's very important that I go back for it. All right. So it seems like we're actually going to do these in backwards order. Right over here is what I missed the first time we came past here. So we spawned in over there, by the way. And I walked up here all the way up there. I don't know if you've just noticed, but Right there, <laughs> there's a little dungeon. In fact, let's go there quick. Oops, I do not have, I don't even have a proper fighting tool, but I also do not have torches. So let's make this quick and let's not get too involved in here. Beautiful, I've got my first music disc. That is great. And string and apples and also bone meal. That is great. A name tag. There's just so many good things here. I don't have beetroot. I don't have all these other things. I don't know what happened to my beetroot, actually. Oops. Uh, I'll be out of that. <laughs> all right. Just, uh, you can get back in there. All right. We're gone. So that is actually a fantastic start to our collection. C418 cat and C418 13. It's a lot of numbers in a row, but you know what I'm saying. We've got ourselves two of the records down, and that is uh, just the start of a very big collection that we're going to have. Look at that. The birch tree hasn't even despawned yet. Man, it's still fresh. I'm actually surprised I've uh, not been loading that in. But there we go. This is where we spawned, just somewhere around here. I would have said one of these blocks around here. We saw the beehive right up there. That's the beehive from the first episode. So if that is the case, then the rocks that we mined should be down here. Look at that. Right there. That's our cave. So what we'll do is we'll take one from there, one from there, and one from there. So that's a bit even, you see? All of these. And we'll come back here and it'll look like some ancient cave structure that was here for some reason. But it was just me fixing up my pickaxe problems. Well, would you look at that? We've got ourselves all five of them now. All we need to do is just put this together now. And we have secured our full collection of pickaxes. So get up there. That's looking good. But I think what we need to do is make it look just one little bit better. And also, by the way, look at that. Nice and tidy. Look at that. Neat and tidy. So what we're going to do here is we're going to go and put these guys. I think we just need three. We'll do three of those. We're going to fix this little problem pickaxe once and for all. So I might have misremembered the recipe for this grindstone, but there it is. I thought it was a smooth stone, but turns out I was wrong. And boom, let's put this up uh, in a spot where a villager won't get to it. We'll just put it down here for now. So what I want to do is I want to fix up this because it was a suggestion that we could get rid of the enchantment by putting it in here. So if I just put it in there. Oh no, look at that. That actually won't work because it's got the curse of vanishing on it. It doesn't have anything else. All right. That is interesting. I actually did not know that that made 
a difference, to be fair. I want to just check one other thing out, and that is if we go up here, I've got this. We're not actually going to do it, but I know we can put these together in a crafting table, and it should remove the enchantment, but not the curse of vanishing. Okay. We learn something new every day. I did not know that that would work that way. So, curse of vanishing one is the weaker one. You can sit up there. And it looks like there is absolutely no way of fixing that up. The next thing on the cards today is to pay a visit to our new librarian. And let's see if I can get this right. Oh, almost overran that one. Oh no, <laughs> missed it. I'm gonna get good, I tell you this. I will get this right. I've got it right once already. Just, uh, I will never get it right when I'm showing off, but eventually. So right up here, let's see. Do we have enough emeralds for that other fortune book? 29. I'm gonna guess probably not, but let's see how generous you are. Four emeralds short, is it? Or five em- Oh, no, three emeralds short because we just did a trade. All right, that is actually not too far away. You know what? We actually may very well have the three emeralds. Still 27, and that's all I want to see. Boom, fortune three. Thank you very much. I appreciate your librarianness. Yep, yep, yep. I'll catch you another time. I gotta say, I'm a very big fan of you, Farmer Joe, and that is why I think what we'll do today is make sure Farmer Joe stays safe. So, stepping on into my cow farm, I've put this clock up here, and I thought it was a great idea that I could just watch the clock and breed cows and get all of the leather that we needed. However, this does have a very big issue, and that is, whenever I am down here, I'm not exactly staring at the clock, and that is a problem, because if I'm not staring at the clock, it's pretty much useless. So today what I want to do is I want to go in the back here and I want to make a little alarm system so that my clock can alert me whenever the sun goes down. And that is going to be easier said than done, although I don't think it's going to be too difficult for me. So what I want to do is I want to clear out this area here and also while we're at it, uh, I'm going to make another pickaxe. And this is going to be the Fortune 3 pick that we're going to have. And you'll see why it's going to be super important for us now. But all I want to do right here is I want to get a little area where we can put in a small redstone contraption that'll make a noise every time the sun goes down. Which also means, and this is where it gets kind of interesting, that this redstone contraption has to be facing into the sun. Oh, is that iron? I'll take that iron. Oh yeah. So it has to be looking at the sky. And that's because if it doesn't look at the sky, the daylight sensor that I'm going to be using is not going to actually work. So that is why I'm going to have to dig a giant hole up the top here. And we probably, oh, ow. <laughs> I was going to say, we're probably going to hit water. I didn't expect the, the sand. Where does that take us out to? Right there. You know what? We can totally put in a piece of glass over here. If I'm correct, then what we should be able to do is put in one of these. And I think that will actually work to hide the area down there, first of all. And second of all, I think the light still goes through there. That's actually really good. Look at that. <laughs> Hardly even notice it. Let's take a step back here. No way you're going to notice that. So good. That is actually a very good hiding spot. Now here is where our new buddy, Mr. Fortune 3, future Fortune 3, is going to come in very handy. And that is that I don't have any quartz at all. I'm pretty sure I mined some, but I must have dropped it. Now that means we're going to have to make a trip out into the nether. And I haven't actually been there for a while, so I've been missing my strider buddy. So we can maybe go there, give him a treat, and uh, say hello. And then of course grab some quartz, head on home here, and make sure that Farmer Joseph is safe. Oh no, oh no, <laughs> I thought the nether was dangerous, look at that! That there is an accident waiting to happen, in fact, that is a music disc waiting to happen there. While we're on this old collection thing, let's see if we can get this right. Get the creeper one more shot! Come on, you can do it Skelly! Get him! I'm sure that it just needs one more shot and the Skelly's gonna miss it. Okay, get in the water, now shoot the creepers. So the creepers have got out of the water. I don't want the skelly to leave just yet, so maybe we can maybe we can get this guy to stay around. Man, look how many arrows there are around here. Oh no, we're getting a bit too close. A little bit too close for my liking. And he keeps going underground. Why do you do that? You've got range. You don't have to move. Alright, so I have committed real hard to this. I've trapped the creeper in here. This is actually our second skelly. Conveniently, the last one caught fire, and this guy's just chilling down here. So if I can get him stuck in a little box, we could actually get this to work pretty well for us. And that should be just enough for me to stand on the other side of that creeper 
And hopefully we can then get ourselves a music disc. I think this shouldn't actually be as difficult as I originally suspect, because if I just do, oh, yep, something like that, I could maybe lure him in this way. All right, we've got him. We've got the skeleton in here. Now, if all goes to plan, which it probably won't, I need to get the skelly to try and hit me through this creeper. And that's gonna be easier said than done. I think it's this block over here that's in, in the way. Oh, here it is. One more, come on, cooperate. One more shot, surely this is it. Here it is, it has to be. Why do these skeletons hit me so darn hard? Do we get something? We got something! Oh man, that is perfect. You know what? I full committed. That was worth it. What do we get here? C418 Strad. You know what? This was unplanned, but I am so happy that we came across this because I was just gonna go ahead and get myself to the nether and you know what? When we get something cool like this, it is so worth it. Now, are there any other creepers I could maybe get into here? We had a ridiculous amount of them earlier. I don't think there are. All right, after all the danger we just took, now we can head into the nether and it should seem like a breeze, I'm sure. No ghasts. I almost walked off the wrong direction. <laughs> there we go. All right, there, we can see our stuff that we've come for. I'm actually not too sure. I know that piglins don't like me mining their gold, but do they mind me mining a little bit of their nether quartz? I hope not. So I'm not 100% sure on this, but I've got a little safety hole over there if this does not go too well. Oops, <laughs> what? <laughs> that doesn't go too well already. Is that all lava under there? No, one lava piece there, thank goodness. I was about to stand on that thing, I'm sure of it. Looks like we're friends, all right, all right, this is good. I'm happy with this, you know what? As long as you're happy, I'm very happy. So I just came here for quartz, but I went on a needlessly long adventure just to get two of these guys. And the reason for that is that I have got a little friend. I think he's down there. There he is. You can see him. And I said that my little friend over here needs a treat. So I want to quickly give him one of these. He's been a good strider. Very good job, strider. Here we go. Delicious. Love it. <laughs> that's a cute noise. I like the little crunch sound there. That's that's awesome. You know what? He does look a little bit cold. You know what? We're gonna have to sort you out with the stable sometime soon. I can't go. I can't bear seeing this. <laughs> oh no, I'm stuck. Can I hop off onto there? I can't stand to see that little guy shivering like that. We have to get him a proper stable so that he is nice and comfy. And not only that, I think it'll also be a lot safer for me getting onto a strider if I build a proper stable. But before I build that, I do need to collect a little bit more string for my grand idea that I have for that actually, because I have thought about it. I've thought about a pretty cool idea that we could do to make a, a good strider docking system. And of course it's gonna involve string because apparently everything in this world involves string. Man, I'm cutting that a bit fine. There we go, freedom. It's just beyond that portal. I may very well have created the most annoying thing I've ever created in this game. Oh man, that was so close, I was going so good. All right, let's quickly get this. I'll show you what potentially could be the most annoying device ever created, and it's just down here. And it's not the cow noises, which are already enough. In fact, you know what? Let's just fix that. There we go, silenced cows. Now over here, this over here, may be the most annoying machine you have ever seen. Because as soon as the sun goes down, it switches on and it doesn't stop until I sleep, which is actually good because this is gonna force me, if I am down here, to quickly go run upstairs and make sure that the villagers are safe by sleeping. So this daylight sensor here is gonna tell me when it turns to night, but I'm gonna switch it to the daytime mode and I'll show you what I mean. It just keeps doing that <laughs> over and over again. And I don't know if that's actually gonna be loud enough. That's why I decided I wanted to do something a little bit funny and uh, put some of those there and let's hear the difference. Yeah, I'm gonna hear that. Yeah, that's gonna definitely be able to be heard. Now the other one that I was thinking of doing was getting some gold and making a bell as well. So that's why I brought this over here with us. So if we do that, get ourselves a big old gold block and this should, in fact, <laughs> I don't know why I'm doing this to myself, but this should be way more annoying than the rest. So let's annoy myself. Oh, that is annoying. 
<laughs> that is beautifully annoying. That over there is the sound of safe villages. I like it. So we've got ourselves, there you go. We've got ourselves everything set up there to keep Farmer Joseph and uh, any other future villagers safe. So that's a good thing. We also have something else that I wanna do and that over here is making ourselves our very first jukebox because now of course we do have ourselves a third music disc. In fact, three music discs. I had zero at the beginning of today. I now have three. That's a very good increase. I'm actually very surprised. So I actually haven't heard a lot of these music discs. I've collected them, just never been too interested in them up until now, to be fair. And I really am curious. So first of all, our more common ones, these two over here. So the green one. All right, we're probably not gonna be listening to that anytime soon. Oh. That's not a music track. That over there is keep the villagers safe time. It's actually working really well. <laughs> I'm successfully annoyed enough to save your life. So you can appreciate that. All right, now back to the music. This over here is 13. All right, that just freaks me out. <laughs> it's like, that's very sinister sounding. Maybe we could have this. If there was a way to redstone power this, it would be great if I could just have this stuck in there. And instead of having the annoying alarm that I've got down there, we could have that. Yeah, that, that could work. That would work quite well. Now, the one that I am definitely not sure about is this one here, which is Strad. Let's pop that in. Nice and peaceful. Yeah, that suits us. Like, picture this, just walking past this house. It's a little loud, but you know what? I could, I could get this going in this house. That'd be really cool. If I could tone that down just a little bit, I guess I could. All right, jukebox slash note blocks are down. Got your own theme song. He can be the farmer and also the music disc. Guardian. We'll just leave them over there, but I do want to collect them properly. I want a proper spot to put them until eventually maybe a full Minecraft museum or something of those sorts. I think I have been having far too much fun with just a few lily pads, a log, and some stone. Look at this. This path is actually completely completable. It's just stringing everything together seems to be a bit more difficult than you might expect. Like, look at that. There we go. I know I can make this jump. Look at this one. From here to there. Nice and simple, right? Try stirring that all together. And then this one. Oh, man, this one. <laughs> oh, oh, it's a big one. But I know I can do it. Like, look at that. Just missed the edge. You got to get it just right. So if I go from there to there. Nailed it, right? I've actually been thinking about this because I'm loving the different layers that we've got to the world. We've got the story layer. We've got the building layer. We've got now this next layer where we can just make a few more things more interactive. Like this, for instance, just a little mini parkour course as we go through. I think that could be pretty neat. And I've tried this before in previous worlds, but I've never actually intentionally made it. It's more just been a, a byproduct of some of my builds. So I think this could be really cool if I can go around and keep challenging myself to getting around the world. That could be so cool. Look at this here. Let's see how we go on this run. I messed up the beginning, but can I keep it going? No. <laughs> Oh, it's all about practice. It's all about practice, I tell you. So what I'm planning on doing is putting in a few other levels to this eventually when we have more buildings We will maybe connect a few buildings up and just have a few other odd paths that you might not necessarily notice But when you start jumping around like this, you really do start to notice them So I think that could be pretty cool. Obviously, it doesn't all have to be on the water. It's uh, it's just where it's beginning Oh, look at that. That actually could have been a good one. Can I keep it going? Oh, no. <laughs> I almost made that. Why did I jump there? I could have jumped here. But for now, because I'm going to be doing it in the water, if you've got any ideas of things I can put down, I've already got logs, like that one, floating logs, stones, like the cobblestone we got, lily pads. I also want to build some cool things, like a, a big lily pad, for instance, could be kind of cool. And a few other things, which would really go down here quite well. Flowers, for instance, large flowers. But if you've got some other ideas that would suit the water, let me know. Now, the real challenge right now is getting me away from this. And that's not going to be easy, but you know what? I'm going to have to do it at some stage. So I will tell you that today I think we've had a very successful day 
here in New Petal Valley and in our world, which is great. And of course, if you guys have enjoyed the video, please do leave it a like. It does help me out tremendously. And of course, if you're new, please be sure to subscribe. You'll be able to catch up with all the rest of the series as we put them out there. And of course, get us one step closer to a massive subscriber goal. But for today, that will be all that we have here in this world. So thank you very much for joining me. Have a great rest of your day, and I'll see you in the next one.